Hello everyone! In this hopefully short tutorial I want to show you how to construct or model the newly discovered Einstein aperiodic tiling tile in the free and open source software Blender. So you can play around with the tile without having to 3D print it. After years of research, in March 2023, David Smith, Joseph Samuel Myers, Craig Kaplan and Chairman Goodman Strauss discovered the Einstein, a single tile that can be used to cover the entire 2D plane in a non-repeating pattern. There is a long history behind the discovery of this tile. As you probably know, mathematics exists since humans are around and started to count. I don't want to bore you with all the history, but if you want to know more about tilings and patterns, for starters, read up on Escher and Penrose. Especially the work of Roger Penrose is very valuable for research on aperiodic tiling. He narrowed the tile set down to two tiles before the discovery of the Einstein. And the kite tile from the Penrose set looks very similar to the base tile we will now construct the Einstein from. So without further ado, let, let's get started. After downloading Blender from Blender.org, you can follow along by watching the key presses I do in the bottom right corner. Shift A at the new polygon, we choose the cylinder. If you don't have the options in the bottom left, you need to expand this panel. Set it to six corners. Jump into edit mode by hitting tab. We need two loop cuts with Ctrl R, confirm with the left mouse button. The three button lets you select a face. Select the top face of the cylinder with the left mouse button. Set the pivot point to bounding box center. Hit I and then set it a bit and confirm with the left mouse button again. Type S0 and confirm with enter to scale the selected face down to zero. Two slices of this hexagon pizza are the building block for the Einstein. So let's free these. Select the two tiles around the corner while holding shift and clicking with the left mouse button. Ctrl I inverts the selection and X deletes the face. And there we have our basic building block. The one button switches to vertex select and with the left mouse button select the vertex at the pointy end. Shift S Cursor to selected places a 3D cursor on the selected vertex. Setting the pivot point to 3D cursor allows us to rotate things around the 3D cursor. Back to face select with the 3 button, select a piece of geometry and shift D duplicates it. And now clicking the right mouse button leaves it exactly where it is. Typing RZ60 rotates the selected duplicated piece of geometry around the set axis around the 3D cursor and Enter confirms this. Select all we have either by shift clicking with the left mouse button or dragging a selection with the left mouse button clicked. Shift D to duplicate it again. R set minus 120 to rotate it the other way around. 1 to switch to vertex select and select the vertex you see in the video. Shift S to set the 3D cursor to the selected vertex. 3 to go to face select and select the first four faces we made. Shift D to duplicate them. Right mouse button to place them where they are. And typing S, X, minus 1 and confirming with enter, mirrors these tiles by scaling them along the X axis over the 3D cursor by minus 1. This only works if your project looks exactly like in the video, as I intentionally aligned these tiles with the X axis. Now it's the same all over again. Want to go to vertex select, select the vertex you see and shift S to place the 3D cursor there. 3 for face select, select two faces that make one of these tiles, duplicate them with shift D and rotate them around the 3D cursor by hitting R set and the angle you want to rotate. In this case first minus 120 and the second one rotates by 60 degrees. And that's it, we built the Einstein. Now it's time to clean up. Hit the A button to select everything, then M and select Merge by Distance. This combines all the slices to one mesh. Tap to jump from Edit Mode to Object Mode and with the mesh selected, go to the Modifiers panel on the right side and give the thing a Solidify modifier. Drag the Thickness slider until it looks good to you. Because of the rotating and scaling, some faces are upside down, so it probably looks a bit uneven on your end too. To fix this, go back into edit mode, press the A button and then Ctrl N for the normals menu and select recalculate outside. Finally, a bevel modifier adds a bevel along the corners that makes everything look better, especially when you play around with the tiles and place them next to each other. You can then easily see the individual tiles. I use my beveler add-on for this. To easily add a bevel, link is in the video description. 
And there you just made the first step towards fulfilling the bigger puzzle. The first tile is there. With Shift D you can duplicate this as often as you want. With G and moving the mouse you can drag it around the 3D space. Hitting Shift and Z while this is active constrains the movement to the XY plane only. This keeps all the tiles aligned. Or you click Numpad 7 to go into top view. Now when you move something you only move it along the XY plane. And while you're in the move mode after setting all this and you keep pressing the shift button the movement will go way slower and it's easier to precisely place the tile. Clicking R, Z and multiples of plus minus 60 rotates the tile to fit. And to really fill the plane you will need a flipped version of this tile. To flip it make another duplicate and hit SX minus 1 to mirror it along the X axis. This tile will have flipped normals again and the solidify modifier will extrude to the other side. To fix this again go to edit mode, select everything, alt N and flip the normals. And now have fun puzzling around and filling the plane with aperiodic tiling. This is so exciting. Have fun, see you on the other side. TT out.